Hey guys, it's Katie, and I'm here today to do something a little unusual, maybe. But I was come up with a good enough topic to do for this Friday, so I decided that I'm going to show you guys my very large and very, very extensive bookmark collection. Yeah, I've got a ton of bookmarks. It's ridiculous. Like, it starts over here, and it literally goes all the way over here. Like, just this whole space around me is full of bookmarks. <laughs> so, I do have them in an order. I'm doing it from bookmarks that I rarely use all the way up to my favorite bookmarks to use and to have. Because I've also got a lot of like keepsake bookmarks that I just have because I collected them for a period of time. So I guess without further ado, let's <laughs> jump right into this crazy bookmark haven. So the first one that I've got here is a bookmark keepsake from my confirmation. I'm Catholic as well as Serbian Orthodox, but uh, Serbian Orthodox, I do things a little bit differently. So this is my from my Catholic confirmation. And I have this other keepsake one, which is from my communion. Once again, Catholic communion, not Orthodox. And then my grandma liked to give me a lot of bookmarks as a kid. So she gave me this one with a um, St. Francis de Sales quote on it. So it starts on the front. And then it goes to the back and it's and then I have this which is a st. George picture which is related to more of my Serbian side this is actually a um, a prayer card if you want to I guess you can call it that someone we knew to uh, that was really close to us died and so this is their the card that they chose. This is just a typical thing and St. George is actually my family's saint which is a really important thing to have in our culture. And then I have one of my Christmas ones which is um, all about the history of and the, an explanation of the candy cane. So this it has the story of the candy cane on the back and it's just um, kind of the Christian explanation of what the candy cane represents. And then I was a, um, a cantor in middle school. And so they gave me this cute little bookmark. It says, if you cannot teach me to fly, teach me to sing. So that's kind of cute. And then I have my, like, four book depository bookmarks. I have more, but really... I don't need this many book depository bookmarks. Some of them are better than others, but they're cute enough. I was for the um, U.S. Winter Olympics from 2010. This came in the mail, and it's kind of like holographic, so it'll like change kind of. You can't really see it here, but it changes. Oh, maybe you can see it if I tilt it. There you go. It's it changes depending on the angle. It's kind of cool and I love the Winter Olympics so I'm really glad that I have this. Next I have this lovely long like ribbon like one with some beads at the end and it has this horse figure at the other end. I'm a really big horse kid so this is appropriate. I never use it because it's really impractical as a bookmark. And these I used to use a lot, but then I found that they damaged my pages and then one started breaking, so I stopped using them. And there are these like cute paper clip like figure bookmarks. So this is the heart this is the heart one and you, if you can't tell I use this one the most because it's starting to break. But I loved this one a lot. And then there's this cute one of a dog. And I hardly use this one at all. I mostly use it as decoration on my bookshelf. But yeah, I have both of these. And then I have this like weird thing. I feel like it was it broke or maybe it came this way. 
I don't know, but I, you just like hook it on the page and then this long part saves your page. I think that's how it works, but I've never used this. I just have it. Then one of my friends from when I was young gave me this bookmark. It says that's what friends are for and it has a place for a picture. My friend's picture used to be in there, but we did we weren't friends for a while so I took the picture out and then I just left it blank because it was like it's a specific size and if you don't have that specific size it's not gonna fit so I just kind of left it blank I have a, a decal from where I went to undergrad and I use that as a bookmark a little bit now we're getting into the bookmarks that I got from when I traveled because I've done a lot of traveling but um, yeah they're really in no particular order and I just realized two of them I technically got as gifts and one is technically not a bookmark but that's besides the point but the first one I got is this really cool leather one from um, St. Paul's Cathedral in London it's got this cute like fringe on the bottom and the crest and whatnot and you can see it's kind of like that suede leather stuff on the back I haven't used this one that much and I got these, which is a duplicate, and I got this in Bayreuth, Germany. The hotel we were staying at had this bookmark full of all of these really well-known guests that they had, and there are a lot of authors and musicians and things on here, and I thought that was just really cool, so I just grabbed a bunch and took them for keepsakes. And this is the Library of Congress bookmark I got when I went there. Um, and I thought that was kind of cool. This is from Washington, D.C. And it's just got some really cool photographs on it. This was a, I had a, I think I had a gift in here. And I just liked the paper. So I saved it and took whatever it was inside out of it. And, uh, yeah. I decided to keep it. I should probably just add this to one of my collages someday. I might do that. Then this is from, I believe, Greece. I didn't get this myself. I got this as a gift from a close family friend. He went somewhere and then he just saw this and decided to get it for me, which I thought was really cool. It's really pretty and you can't tell that it's like made of cloth. I never took it out of the paper, but I thought it was really cool. And it's of the um, Archangel Michael, Michael and it's, it's on this kind of like tapestry thing. And I think it's cool. My roommate in college was Cambodian and she got me a gift one time and I thought the picture in it was really pretty. So I decided to keep it as a bookmark, even though it's not what it was for at all. <laughs> so yeah, I've just got this lying around and I've never used it. Like 95% of these bookmarks I have never used. I got this when I was in China. You guys have probably seen this one on my channel before. It's this like horse cutout and they kind of did a contrasting kind of thing with the part that this was cut out of and it, there are some Chinese characters on the bottom I'm assuming that's the artists work and then maybe just an explanation the date or something I don't know but I love this and I'm probably gonna hang it at some point maybe when we get to our next our new house I don't know we'll see and there was one summer that the new library that we had starting when I was like eight or so um, they had this like kids summer reading program kind of a thing and um, the theme for that year was book a trip and it's kind of like around the world and you would read a book based off of each continent so then they and then they had like little facts about each continent on the back and I thought that was kind of cute remember how I said I was in horses <laughs> So I got this when I was in fourth grade and it's one of those that's kind of like you bend it and then it like hooks on. It's like a paper clip bookmark but in paper form. And so this, I got this at the little bookstore that we had 
at school, it had a lot, it was full of scholastic books and there was this bookmark there and I thought it was really cute. So I decided to get it. And so I do, I have this one, but when I used it, I just use it as like a normal bookmark. I never use the like hook thing. Cause I think that's dumb, but yeah, horses are awesome. Then this bookmark is a little bit under the weather because it used to have a tassel here, but the I I went through a phase where I pulled tassels off. Went through a phase where I pulled tassels off my bookmarks. So yeah, this one's a little bit blue. <laughs> the irony. Um, and it's also that like weird felt like material stuff and it's got a reading moon on it and I think that's super cute. I actually might start using this bookmark more. I really like it. It actually kind of reminds me of Buckkeep Blue. And I just love, I love to read at night. So maybe this is my new perfect bookmark. I was really, really into this game as a kid. I don't remember what it was called. Like Jack something. I don't know. But he's on here. He's the little, the little boy. But it says, you'll go far when you read on it. And I think that's perfect because... You do go far when you read. You travel all over the place. You go to new lands. You go to places in your world, places out of this world, places similar to your world. And I just love getting to explore new worlds when I read, which is probably a large reason why I love fantasy so much. But yeah, I think this bookmark is adorable. I have this like metal one and it's got a star on it. It's going to glare hardcore, I think, because it's literally made of metal but on it it says dreams are necessary to life and that was written by N Anais Nin and the back which I peeled some coating off of you know typical me and it also used to have a tassel but that also I took that off too this newer bookmark which I completely forgot about but it's, uh, it says shine brightly on the metal star on the bottom. And uh, it's just an inspirational bookmark or an ornament, something of the, that kind. And I just kept it in its casing. I thought it was cool. So maybe one day I'll take it out and use it for something. Then I've got another horse bookmark with a ridiculously heavy tassel on it. Like these beads, this bead in particular, it's one of those like solid ones with just the hole. So it's like super heavy on a flimsy bookmark. So that's fine. And then my mom liked to get me a lot of handmade, handcrafted things as a kid. So I have this uh, handcrafted flower pressed bookmark. I really like hand press things now. I'm not a fan of the hand flower pressed journals though because it's impossible to write on them without destroying the page. But a bookmark is a different story even though it's made of it's made of that sim, that same material. It's like that recycled paper with flowers pressed into it. So I think it's really cool that I have this and it's got the little cute little bunny ears tassel on it and what's not to love. Getting into some bookish bookmarks. So if you're familiar with Aragon, the Aragon, the inheritance cycle or whatever, I have bookmarks from that series with Aragon's dragon, who I forget the name of right now. And then the other one that we get to deal with more in the second book. And so I'm... I hate tassels sometimes. These are really pretty ones though. They have gorgeous beads on them. Look at that. But, but I'm really glad that I have these. As I said, they're really cool. I love dragons. So I mean, my small children. We get some Lord of the Rings ones because it's me and I can't not have some Lord of the Rings ones. So I've got two Frodo ones. One is broken. The other one has a tassel. Yeah, you see, this is, this is what I did to one. And then I have this one, which is nice and fine. Why do I hurt my things? I have Legolas, who's also missing his tassel. 
I pulled it off and it literally fell apart. And I tried to put it back together and it just didn't work. So that's fine. And of course, I have Aragorn, but in this bookmark he's called Strider because that's one of his many aliases. I'm going to try and get it to not glare so you can look at look upon the beautiful face. So yeah, now we're getting into my ultimate faves that I use like all the time or used to use all the time. And this first one is of this dog. This lovely little golden retriever dog that says, The dog is everybody's friend by Oliver Herford. And I mean, I love animals, especially small, tiny animals. And then we get to have another one with a tassel because why not? Believe in yourself. Follow your heart the way sailors follow the stars. And if you don't know this about me, I like to sail when I get a spare moment. So yeah, this one is a really cool bookmark. And I mean, it's sea themed and it's one of my favorite colors because I love this like seafoam green slash turquoise color. There's a reason I'm called to Sea of Tomes, guys. Now we're getting into my Harry Potter bookmark collection, which is very, very important. Okay, it's very important. Life is like a Nimbus 2000. If you have courage and confidence, it will take you to incredible heights. And it's got some really pretty artwork at the top that I'll try and zoom in on. And then, yeah, it's written in the Harry Potter font, which I have yet to figure out what that is. Otherwise, I'd write everything in that if I could. You know, the Harry Potter signature thing on the back. I don't know if you guys ever got these, but these are some of my favorite things in the whole world. And they're these, like, little Harry Potter bookmarks. So it has to have a tassel on it. But these came with the Scholastic Books, like, packages or whatever. And this is the first one with uh, Harry, Ron, and Hermione going up to Hogwarts in the boats. And it's got the, like, pretty script on the back. I'm not going to show you the back because... Of, at least of this one because it's <laughs> written all over. The second one where Harry and Ron are under the invisibility cloak. The third one where Harry's in, and Harry and Hagrid are in green guts with grip hook. I really like this one a lot as well. Now, I actually got Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban like pretty much right away and when we were getting it and getting it signed because I got to a chance to get it signed by J.K. Rowling that one and then I have also my Sorcerer's Stone is also signed I got this really cool bookmark it's really large and it has a picture of Harry on it and it's talking about the release of Goblet of Fire and then on the back it says, you know, collect them all. I'm like, is this Pokemon? Like, I, this was a time that Pokemon was pretty popular, so they might have been trying to catch everybody's eye. But um, if you didn't know this about me, Goblet of Fire, upon reread last year, took my top spot for several reasons. But a lot of it has to do with my rare pair ship which I will be talking about in another video at some point. I was going through looking for all of my bookmarks, especially like this one and another one that I'm going to tell you about soon. They were actually still in the books, and that was wild because I did not expect them to still be in the books like when I got them. I'm, I obviously must have taken them out of there at some point or another, but... They were still there, and so it makes me believe that maybe I didn't take them out. I don't know. This is my Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix sticker, which also seems to have come with the Scholastic books at some point, but it was literally in the back of the Order of the Phoenix, so maybe it came with it, and I just didn't remember it. But a lot of people say Order of the Phoenix is their least favorite book, and I can understand why. I'm not disputing that it's very grim and just Harry is an angst monster. However, 
I have very, very fond memories of reading Order of the Phoenix, as it was the first Harry Potter book I read on my own. And I just, you probably heard of me talk about them, that particular book in tags before. Order of the Phoenix has a very special place in my heart, despite all of its angstiness. For all of the Harry Potter ones, now we're getting into the last three that I have. And they are, weirdly enough, the bookmarks I use the most, and they're the ones that are very, very important to me. I have is this little, cute little one that has my name on it. it. has the meaning of my name, which is Greek origin. It comes from the, well, it doesn't say on here, but it comes from katharos, which means pure. So that's what my name translates to. And then it has this Bible quote on the bottom. My grandma got me this one as well and it's got a cute little bear on it i love my cute little bear it's also significant because i have a an important bear on my bed that was also gifted to me from my grandma so i mean we've come for a full circle here last two which are my favorite of all my favorites first one i have is this lovely bookmark it's also got some uh pressed flowers in there and it's got this quote on there that says minds are like books they function only when opened use this one a lot this guy yeah look how beat up this poor bookmark is <sighs> this bookmark has a special story but it's also got oh, are you gonna be able to see it this holographic dog inside. You can kind of see it, maybe. It's pretty blurry, but it's in this little circle here. And then the blue is just really sparkly. I like blue and I like sparkly things, so I mean. But I also got this bookmark from my favorite bookstore that went out of business several years ago. It's still got the sticker on it because I have taped it and I'm going to have to retape it because it's falling off. It has these like facts about what make holograms work on the back. It's starting to fade a bit, but I think it's cool. And I've had this bookmark since I was what, six or seven maybe? As I said, it's a really old bookmark. It's one of my favorites as you can tell, and it's still in one piece. I'm so proud of that. But yeah, this is my favorite bookmark and the one I probably use the most. That is my entire bookmark collection. I told you once this started that it was going to be a very large and very vast collection. I'm not even entirely 100% sure these are my, this is my entire collection, but it's everything that I could find at the moment. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a bit of an unconventional video, but I'm trying to break my mold on my channel a little bit and just kind of branch out and do other fun things besides everything that I've been doing for like a year. So you might see some new things coming up in the next couple of months that I'm, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Let me know down below what your favorite bookmark that I showed you was if you can, <laughs> or even if you, if you can't top three or something. Um, and yeah, that's about all I've got for you today. So as always, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media. I have a Twitter and a Goodreads, which are both linked below. And I also have other social media sites such as Twitter, a Tumblr, and an Instagram that's travel centric if you'd like. And I will come back with another video for you guys again soon. Okay. Bye.